Hey it girl, I'm Danielle Carolyn and welcome to my closet. So my dream was to create my own Hannah Montana closet growing up. I was obsessed. This is my own version here. So I tried to organize it as best I can and tried to color coordinate. Especially during right now is like fall winter so I'm wearing a lot more black. So I brought out the black boots, my black heels. I have even more shoes up there that I'm wearing a little bit less. Then I wanted to try and merchandise my bags a little bit. It's very fun when I'm done getting ready. And then I come over here, I'm like, okay, which bag do I want? Again, tried to put the neutrals, the blacks all together. And believe it or not, I actually have even more sneakers under all of these here. It's, they're bursting at the seams. And over here, of course, I have all of my tops, my blazers, my dresses. Very, very special to me on the top. These are literally all dresses. And then on the bottom, I have tops that go all the way here to blazers. And then I actually do have pants and stuff in a whole other closet, but it's not as cute, so. <laughs> a Frankie shop blazer it is so oversized I love it I can throw it over like a tank with jeans booties it's like giving model off duty I'm not a model or I also love I'm short enough where I can make this a dress I wrap it up add a belt over top and it looks so chic I love this and it's super warm another closet staple is this black long sleeve skims dress the amount of compliments I get when I wear this and you can wear it so many ways if I'm going to like a Broadway show I'll throw over a black leather jacket some tall black boots good to go or if you're traveling this is literally so comfortable I am just constantly finding ways to style this the closet staple you need is a bomber this one is from Zara you need to go run and get it I literally bought it in an oversized size so it just kind of gives that slouchy look it looks so great with a turtleneck underneath or if you're going for a workout I feel like this just makes you look a little bit more put together and chic over here is my pink section if you guys don't know I have a podcast with my best friend called gals in the go and we do live shows around the country and we always wear pink recognize this dress right here I wore it on the cover of our podcast and I might actually rewear it to one of our Texas shows because I love it so much it's so fun this dress is really special to me this is from Bronx and Banco it's this beautiful purple blazer dress with the feathers I actually wore this in our first gals in the go live show promo video that showed before our show and it just has a really great memory for me. I need to figure out how else to wear it again. This is one of my more fun pieces. I'm always bringing it with me when I'm going on a vacation. I wore this in Cabo. I love it. It's by the brand AJE. I love the bottom. I know it comes in black too. And then the back has this beautiful open back. I love it. And it's so fun. I love looking at it in my closet. <laughs> this is a piece of my closet that I really thought I was doing something. And I still haven't worn it. I bought it for my trip to Nantucket slash the Hamptons. And it didn't come out for either trip. So clearly... I just wasn't drawn to it, but I actually loved the puffy sleeves. It's so fun. It's just kind of a way to pretend you're a coastal grand. This is one of those pieces I just can't get rid of because I am a southern football school girly, and Georgia goes hard for game days, you guys, so count us in for like a puffy bodysuit situation. Our colors are red and black, red skirt, tall boots, buttons everywhere, but I just like don't wear this in New York, but it does need to happen for Georgia. I highlight this top that I actually got sent by Cynthia Rowley. It's this paperclip shirt that I think is so beautiful it also comes in like an ivory color but it's truly a ton of paper clips here's a few pieces for all my bachelorette goers out there this dress is perfect I wore it on vacation and I love the cutouts this is a pat bow dress I feel like it's so perfect for like a Tulum bachelorette party I have to highlight this beautiful dress from Retrofet I wore it on a recent girls trip to Miami I feel like it's just so perfect for your birthday for a bachelorette trip it's so fun and very textured I love this dress if you're the bride. It's this beautiful white dress from House of CB. There's literally like little puffs in the sleeves. This part is so flattering. It slims your waist. You're gonna look gorgeous and feel gorgeous. This is the perfect wedding guest dress. I just wore this to a wedding and I got so many compliments. It's Norma Kamali. It's so beautiful. It's actually like a little off the shoulder and it actually stays off the shoulder. I feel like sunglasses are a super big accessory to an outfit like it can change your outfit for sure so I have a couple of favorites these are the classic Celine oval sunglasses I love them I feel very fat love these tortoise sunglasses I have them in black as well they're literally from Amazon but I think they're so cute I've been trying to figure out if I want to buy like a designer version of these but I think the Amazon ones are doing just fine I also have these really sick sunglasses from Jenny Bird these are some Gucci sunglasses that were actually like my first designer sunglasses. I bought them in college and I did not 
take them off. I don't really wear them anymore, but I can't get rid of them, I think, because of that nostalgia aspect, but they're pretty fun. Purchase that I definitely regret, and it was definitely a splurge, are these YSL sunglasses, you guys. I don't know who I thought I was. I actually, I thought I was Elsa Haas, because she wore them, and everyone laughed at me, and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't worn them. I've worn them once. So here's a pair of shoes that I definitely splurged on. My co-host Brooke convinced me to buy these in Atlanta before Atlanta Gals on the Go live show. They're beautiful pink Prada platform heels. I love them. They're super comfortable, but I wear them to the ground because we're running around, we're dancing on the show, and now they're definitely getting a little bit worn, but that's okay. <laughs> Pointed shoes are just having its moment right now, and I am definitely living for it. So I actually have these that are by the brand Arezzo. They're just a beautiful black pointed slingback in specific. The slingbacks, they're so comfortable. This looks so good under like a baggy jean. I'm really into it right now. I feel like we all have that piece in our closet where it's like, I just bought it, I can't wait to wear it, but you're saving it for a special occasion and then you never end up wearing it. That's these shoes. I'm obsessed with them. They are giving Chanel, they are giving gorgeous and I just have yet to wear them because I'm so obsessed with them. Does anyone else have a piece like this? Last but not least are boots. As you can tell, I really love boots. I feel like if you're a New York City girl, you need those tall boots. It elevates an outfit. However, I have to have them be comfortable because we are walking around the streets of Soho, those cobble streets. We need good shoes. I only got these boots from Dolce Vita. I love this rich chocolate brown color. So perfect for fall. I also love these from Vince Camuto. A little bit of a thicker heel. Super cute. Zipper up love the square toe. I also love these from Mark Fisher. I love this like fold over boot style that's happening right now and this is a really pretty like creamy coffee color. These are my ride or die boots from Vince Camuto. I don't even know if they sell this exact style anymore but they need to because I am literally obsessed. This black, the heel, I could walk miles in these and I'm not just saying that. I love my accessories, but I have a few that are my favorites. Right here, I've been wearing silver a lot more and I'm very into outfit sandwiching. So like if your top is silver, then I want my shoes to be silver, something like that. So I got these Kurt Geiger little pointed heels. I wear them so much and then I can wear my silver jewelry. They're perfect. Speaking of silver, when I wear those silver slingbacks, I also pair it with this bag to kind of do that outfit sandwiching I was talking about. This is a coach bag from their Shine collection. I love it. It's honestly, this bag has made me fall in love with wearing silver. This is my red diesel bag. I actually wore it in my It Girl interview and so many people loved it. I went to Georgia, so I'm always wanting to cheer on the dogs by wearing red and it's just such a pop of color. This is also one of my favorite bags. It's the Stodd Moon Bag. I love it. It's so perfect. I can even fit like my huge vlog camera in here. It fits a ton and you can put it on your shoulder. It comes in so many colors and I'm really tempted to get another one. Meet my favorite bag, the Jody Bag from Bottega. I loved this bag so much I got it in three colors. Over time, I have the green, which I'm still so obsessed with. It's a great pop of color, this neutral, and then the black. Between the three, I'm honestly covered on all accounts. I recommend having that like staple black bag. It doesn't have to be Chanel or Bottega, but just having your go-to everyday black bag that fits the exact things you need and it puts any outfit together. That's it for my closet. Thanks for hanging out. I've got to run. We're recording another episode of Gals on the Go podcast, but I hope you guys enjoyed. You learned a little bit more about my style and how I've organized my Hannah Montana closet, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, it girl.